Hello young astronomers, myself Ranjit Kumar, I am an astronomer from Space India. In this video, we are going to unbox a 76mm reflected telescope. And before unboxing this telescope, you can see here telescope F776. So F700 is the focal length of the telescope and 76 is the aperture of the telescope. Now let's unbox a 76mm reflected telescope or also called as Newtonian telescope. So let's unbox. So I have a manual here. So this manual tells how to assemble and what are the parts available in the telescope. So I'm going to keep this manual aside. And we have a telescope legs. First I'm going to keep everything out of the box. First I'm going to unbox the tripod legs. So I'm going to just remove the tape from this. This side is already open. So we have this one. So now I'm going to remove this optical tube. So this part of the telescope is what we call them as optical tube. So I'm going to take out from the cover. So now I'm going to open this box. This part of the telescope is called as yoke and I will tell you what is the use of this. And we have the last box here. So in this box, so we have this accessory tray. So I'm going to remove it from the cover. We have three eyepieces and we have one moon filter we have erecting islands we have the finder scope we have a 2x barlo we have some knobs and nuts and bolts we have the tripod adapter bracket, tripod support bracket. So, and we have this last vertical adjustment rod. And it has two parts. And we have this and one small screw. Now my telescope unboxing is done. Let's move to assemble the telescope. So. Here I am ready with the tripod legs. So in the tripod legs you can find if I tilt the tripod this part is coming down. So what we have to do we have to first lock this. So to lock this here we have the three knobs. So first we have to take the knob and you can see there is a place for the knob. So just tighten this. Now you can see this part of the legs is not coming down. So similarly we have to do for the other two legs. Okay, now I tighten the tripod legs. You can see now it is not falling down. So this part is done. So next. after fixing the telescope legs take the yoke. So this part is called as yoke. So we have to attach this yoke with the telescope. So you can see there has some holes in the yoke. So what we have to do, we have to match this hole with the hole in the tripod like this. And you can see in the tripod there is a place for the screw head. So I am going to take the wing screw. I am going to remove the nut from the screw. So make this coin side and then insert this screw. So once you got this from this side, just put the washer and take the wing nut and then tighten it. So 
similarly do the same for the other two legs now you can see my tripod legs are attached with the yoke next step what we are going to do we are going to take the support bracket and then we are going to just extend the tripod legs then we have to extend this also so you can see there are two holes here so what we have to do these two holes has to coincide with these two holes so before that i'm going to just loosen the screws so now i loosen the screws and nuts i'm going to attach this support tray with the telescope leg so make the two holes coincide and take one screw and then put it inside so one side is done so similarly do the other two sides as well So now take the accessory tray and you can see there is a nut, there is a screw coming out from the accessory tray and there is a hole in the tripod as well. So what we have to do, we have to just match this and then we have to rotate this. So now the accessory tray is attached with the tripod. So now you can see there are some places for the eyepieces in the accessory tray. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the eyepiece now and I'm going to keep the eyepiece on the places. So now our tripod is partially done. So I told partially because in order to make it fully completed, what we have to do, we have to open this. You can see there is a knob over here. So we have to open this to extend the height of the tripod. So now you can see as I loosen this, the tripod is extended. So I'm going to do the same for the other two sides as well. So once it is extended, we have to tighten the knob. And make sure the height from all the three legs of the tripod are in same height. So now my tripod is completely done. I'm going to keep this at the side. Okay. So from this optical tube, what we have to do, you can find these two things. This one is called as vertical adjustment rod and we have a screw to attach the vertical adjustment rod with the optical tube. So you can see there is a hole in the optical tube and we have to attach, we have to coincide this hole and this hole and then we have to insert the screw. We have the screwdriver to tighten the screw. So now this adjustment rod is attached with the optical tube. So next step what we are going to do, we are going to mount this optical tube with the tripod. Okay, this extension from the optical tube will be placed on the support bracket. So I am just inserting this. But as I inserted this, I cannot insert the adjustment rod in the hole because we have done this in a wrong way so what we have to do we have to make this we have to tilt like this and then now we have we can insert this first this rod first and then we can adjust with the support bracket so now you can see we can it is fixing so i'm going to tighten this first this adjustment rod and then i'm going to use the knobs so both the sides we can insert the knobs. So now the optical mount is attached to the telescope and this one is called as adjustment rod because if I see now I am just loosening this we can see the movement. Altitude movement that is up top to bottom movement we can find. If I lock this I, I cannot move my telescope up and down. So this is the role of the adjustment rod and to control the left to right movement, to control this movement, you can see there is a knob over here as well. There is a knob over here. So just to tighten this knob, now my telescope is fixed to the 
left right movement as well so the next step what we are going to do we are going to attach the finder scope with the optical mount so now i am ready with the finder scope so to fix the finder scope with the optical mount what we have to do we have to just loosen the screws and we have to place these two slits on the optical mount but before that which side i have to fix first so you can see the bigger diameter side so this bigger diameter side has to face forward so i am going to keep like this and then i am going to insert the screw the next step what we are going to do is we are going to insert the eyepiece so to insert the eyepiece we have to remove we have to loosen this uh, knob and uh, take out this then take any eyepiece but i suggest you to begin with 20 mm eyepiece as it is best for beginners so i am going to take 20 mm eyepiece so here i have taken 20 mm eyepiece and the mm is written on the eyepiece so i am going to insert like this and i am going to tighten this so we have three different kinds of eyepieces and the role of three different kinds of eyepieces are each eyepiece have different magnification with this 20 mm eyepiece we can magnify up to 35 times and if we use the 12.5 mm eyepiece we can magnify up to 56 times if we use 4 mm eyepiece then we can magnify up to 175 times so this are the role of different kinds of eyepieces and we have these two parts so these two parts are barlow and erecting islands first the role of erecting islands is to get the real image telescopes gives us the inverted image okay if we use the erected eyepiece then we can get the real image so it reinverts the inverted image so we can see the actual image so for this we are using the erecting eyepiece so how to fix the erecting eyepiece to fix the erecting eyepiece we have to remove both the caps so now how to insert the erecting eyepiece with the telescope so for that we have to first take out the eyepiece and then you can see there is a place to keep our eyepiece so we can keep we can loosen this knob and then we can insert and then we can tighten this then this silver color part will go inside the telescope like this so and then you can tighten this one so now my erecting islands is fixed and coming back to the barlow we have barlow barlow gives more magnification so here i have 2x barlow whatever the magnification this barlow will double the magnification as it is a 2x barlow so now let's understand how to fix the barlow with the telescope so again remove the caps take out the erecting islands and remove the eyepiece so to fix the barlow this eyepiece are small this eyepiece is a small see it, it is going completely inside so what we have to do here comes the trick so we 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 have adapter inside the telescope so what we have to do we have to keep this adapter here then we can insert the eyepiece loosen this insert the eyepiece and then tighten it and other step is same so insert this part so now our barlow is attached we can enjoy the more magnified view of the object that's it from the assembling part of the telescope now let's understand how to align the telescope towards any particular object in the aligning part the first step we have to do is we have to align this finder scope with the optical mount first point any terrestrial object from this eyepiece and make sure that terrestrial object comes in the center of the eyepiece so once it is done next so we have to make the same object comes in the center of the view finder as well if it is not in the center what we have to do you can see there are three screws so loosen you keep your eye on here and loosen the screws and then see whether it is in center or center or not so you can make this you can make this three screw adjustments to make the object comes in the center of the view finder sometimes you when you see from the eyepiece the image may be blurred so for that what we have to do you can see there are two knobs so you can just adjust these two knobs for the for focusing the object to get sharp and clear image so depending upon your eyesight you can adjust this focus 
so now we are done with the aligning of the finder scope with the optical mount the next step we, we can go to the celestial objects for any celestial objects we have to first get the celestial object in the center of the viewfinder once it is in the center of the viewfinder then obviously it will come in the center of the eyepiece as well because we aligned the viewfinder with the eyepiece so it will be easy it will make our job easier but remember one thing if you are going to observe something make sure you have removed the telescope cap this cap so now a telescope is completely aligned if you are a moon lover this telescope comes with a moon filter how to attach this moon filter we have to remove the eyepiece and you can see in this side there are some threads inside so we have to keep this moon filter on this side and then tighten this and then insert the eyepiece this moon filter is especially made to observe moon you can observe the features of the moon with the moon filters more clearly that's the role of the moon filter so yes this is all about from the 76 mm reflector telescope i hope it is clear how to assemble the 76 mm reflector telescope how to align the 76 mm reflector telescope to any particular object so that's it from my side in this video i hope you enjoy learning about telescopes so wish you all clear skies thank you bye bye